Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 325. Uh, it's an easy level problem, but you can see the accuracy. Uh, again, a tricky one, uh, similar to the one that we saw in yesterday's bi-weekly contest. So yeah, let's see what the problem's, problem is trying to say and why the accuracy is so low, okay? So the problem name is shortest distance to target, target string in a circular array, okay? The circular array itself tells us that uh, the the end, the last element and the first element of the array is connected. But yeah, let's see what the problem is trying to say. So you are given uh, a zero index circular string array words and a string target. A circular array means that the array's end connects to the array's beginning. Okay. Formally, the next element of words of i is this and the previous element is this. So that is what, what I've told you. So if this is, this is your array. Okay. So this is index 0, 1, 2 and 3. So these two are connected, these two are connected, these two are connected, and these two are connected. Simple. That's what the means. So uh, for this, this is the next element, this is the next element, this is the next element, and this is the next element. That's what the circular array thing means here, okay? Now, what the problem is say, saying is, uh, what we need to do is, starting from the start index, this will be given to you, you can move to either the next word or the previous word with one step at a time, okay? So return the shortest distance needed to reach the string target if the string target does not exist in words return minus one okay so these are the words that i have okay uh, the target string is hello that means i need to move to word hello starting from index one so this is the one index so and uh, at every step either i can move forward or backwards okay everything is connected so let's see what we can do right so we can start from by index one and where is hello here it is hello. So one step, two step, three step. So I take three steps to reach from index one to this one. Okay. What is the other option? Okay. What is the other option? I can, um, I can, so if I want to reach this hello, what I'll do, I can move here one step and then from here to here one step. So two steps. Okay. This is one of the things. Uh, what is the other option? So for if there can be a, there can be at most two options only right uh, to move to a particular word because if this is your array if this is your array okay and f you want to move from here to here so how you can move either you can move in this direction or you can move in this direction okay these are the only two possibilities so to move to this hello at first step i took took three and then i took two okay i need to find the shortest distance but i still have a hello here so if I move from here to here, that is just one step. And if, if I move from this direction, so that is one, two, three, and four. So what is the minimum of these four? One. So one will be your answer. So wherever you find that word, just see that what is the distance of that in both the directions, right? Both the directions. Moving in right direction, moving in left direction. Similarly here, start index is zero. You need to move to lead code. So just see, you, you can move one, two or you can directly move one. So one will be your answer. What about this? You want to search for eight. Eight is not in the string. So you return minus one. Simple stuff. So um, th these are the things asked in the question. Let's look into the code. It's an implementation based problem. Nothing fancy is needed. Hence, I'll, I'll just jump into the explanation and I'll while while uh, showing the code, I'll, I'll explain you the things. Okay. So answer equals to max dot value because that's uh, i've just initialized it so that even if at the end my answer is max dot value i i make it minus one okay what is the core logic the core logic is traverse your array and if your words of i equals to the target that you are searching so what do you do find the difference find the difference of the indices what will be the difference so suppose you were here and you have moved here you have found words here so first find this distance so that will be uh, absolute value of this index minus this index. Let's call it i, let's call it j. But what will be the other value if you move in the other direction? The other direction will be this. So if this distance is x, the other distance will be i minus x, where n is the number of nodes, right? n is the number of nodes. So n is the number of nodes. So this is the thing that you'll do. So just see, diff is absolute value of uh, the starting index and the current index. So how do you update your answer? You update your answer by answer equals to math.min of answer and then math.min of the difference that you have calculated and words.length minus diff. So x and n minus x. Okay. This is n minus x. This is x. So find the diff of these two and just update your answer. So you'll be doing this and finally you get your answer, right? So um, I think maybe folks miss this part. 
uh, or they were trying to do something else i don't know why the accuracy is so low but yeah that's what the problem is asking you to do so yeah i i hope you learn something new from this video uh, also in case of any queries please do mention that under the comments i'll revert on each one of them also if you find this channel useful uh, please do subscribe to it and i'll be seeing you in the future videos thank you take care bye bye